We have some breaking news tonight on the battle over gay marriage in Florida. As we've been reporting, same-sex couples believe clerks in all Florida counties should be able to issue marriage licenses starting next week. But there is some confusion because the Clerks Association said the ruling only applies in Washington County, where the challenge to the gay marriage ban originated. Well, tonight, the Attorney General's office filed a response to an emergency motion for clarification. In short, it says, if the federal court intended the injunction to have effects beyond those that appear on its face, the court may wish to provide appropriate clarification. So the confusion will likely remain. But even with all that uncertainty surrounding the issue, Bay Area wedding planners are getting ready for it. News Channel 8's Candace McCowan is joining us live tonight with a report on how the possibility of gay marriage could be good for business. Candace. Yeah, absolutely. Good evening, Keith. We understand from those wedding planners that there could be long lines outside of court clerk offices like this one if gay marriage gets the go ahead. But those wedding planners also tell me when it comes to spending that special moment with family and friends that many couples are ready to spend big money. Everything that we do is, is custom and it's tailored to the couple. Each time same sex marriage inches closer and closer to reality in Florida, Frank Clemente, the owner of Concept Bait Event Design, sees more and more clients. Meetings started happening, uh, plans are in play for uh, several couples. Clemente expects his business to grow up to 30% with same sex marriage in Florida. Already at Concept Bait, Clemente is hiring and training staff. You got to realize that, that some of these people are, are, are just now coming out. Planner Anthony Myring recently moved to Gulfport. He thinks same sex marriage will bring thousands to Florida. We've had a lot of people calling. They're interested in finding out about getting married. A lot of people want to get married on the beach. And even without a final decision, Myring is telling his clients to get ready. We plan the wedding and we go ahead with the wedding anyway. And, uh, you know, they can always come back later and we can do a vow renewal or something and sign their marriage certificate at a later date. And if the courts allow same sex marriage to happen, Clemente tells me he's ready. If we get that, yes, it's going to be a, a, a windfall for not only my business, but so many businesses in Florida. Tourism is really going to go up. And there are some major hotels that are planning large weddings for next Tuesday. If they can go through with this, I understand that the Epicurean Hotel in Tampa is planning on marrying 20 couples at one time. Keith? And sometimes it's not the first go around for these folks. Many of these people are getting married for a second time. Yeah, many of these couples tell me that they've gotten married in other locations like Boston and Canada where same-sex marriage is legal, but they want to get married in Florida where they were born, where they were raised, and many of them live. Keith. Candace McCowan reporting live for us tonight in Tampa. Thank you.